Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So, we're back in our lovely Gold Valley Hospital. I've subscribed to a new mod. I've subscribed to the font mod. So this gives you a brand new font and decal system to use within the game. So you can use any letter you want. I think in the future there is going to hopefully be support for some other letters. I know some people wanted some German letters with umlauts and that kind of jazz. So at the moment I think it's just like this like standard English alphabet, but I think they are going to bring more online in the future. And I've simply coloured the front of our gorgeous hospital here in a nice red with a nice emergency sign. I'd like to at some point get Gold Valley Hospital maybe along the front here, um, but we can do that maybe a little bit later on. The only other thing I've changed in between episodes is I've added a little corridor here. Just go through the back of the oncology clinic there and I added like a little seating area, some magazines and stuff here. Oh, I am getting a text. Oh, it's an email. Hi Brad, thank you so much for opening an oncology department here in Gold Valley. It means a lot to our community and me personally. We have awarded your hospital a grant of $50,000 to help with this amazing project. Hopefully this will help in building an operating theatre for the oncology department. Kind regards, Professor William Farron. That's very, very interesting guys, isn't it? What great news, we have a lot more money now. We can build an operating theatre and it means that we can also sort out especially upstairs because look how bare it is up here so now we have the money to do it let's sort this department out and okay. okay so without further ado let's get stuck in well let's think about the operating theater first so we're going to want this to be fairly close to the high dependency unit which is this one just here so i think it's worth us getting in some nice pink walls for our operating theater and we could have this somewhere like on the back of this ward I think this will work so let's do 8 by 8 I think will be a good idea well actually let's, if we bring that out let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves and we'll just get rid of those walls just there and that one there so what will, I don't know, what, what are we using here? Okay, it's kind of stripey one. Right, so we're gonna have this coming in like that. So you can have some doors here if, if needs be. And having a little room just before you go into the actual operating theater itself. So let's, we're gonna come down there, make sure that's all the operating theater and make sure that that's still the corridor. Okay, so we're going to need some doors. We're going to want to get into our operating theatre, obviously. So look at some doors there, then some doors going in. Would you have windows looking in? I don't know. Well, let's get some, and then maybe that could be like a restricted access bit there as well. You'd most definitely have windows there. Um, yeah, okay, I like that. So flooring wise, Corridor can keep being that. Then I think we'd have tiles in here where we're going to have our sinks and scrubs and all of that good stuff. An actual operating theatre. If we get in the table, I never know what way round this goes. Where does the anesthesia workstation go? There, okay. So let's get that there. I think it's in the right spot. Yep. Yeah. What I'd quite like to do is get like a black square around the operating theatre and then around that maybe white. I just want something to look, yeah you know, I want it to look a little bit different, a little bit different than normal. So let's fill this room in and then we can change the floor after that might be a better idea. So instruments table, surgery instruments, we're going to need OP digital imaging. So let's get that in. I want that to be blue. That needs to be blue. There we go. Two operating lights. Like that. We need a suction machine. That can go anywhere, I believe. 
we need some equipment tables which makes sense so you know need some equipment in here defibrillator again makes sense an electro cautery machine oh spicy okay if we get where does this need to go can it go anywhere i think that can go anywhere okay then we're going to need sinks scrubbing stations do you have one actually inside? I don't know. Get some scrubs there. And get some. Hmm. Maybe if we actually do. Yeah. So let's have that there. Then we'll get some. Like that. And can we get a little shelf in between? Does that count? Yeah, that counts. Okay, perfect. The warming cabinet. Warming up people's lungs. I don't actually know what is, what is the warm. Blankets, intravenous and surgical irrigation fluids. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Last but not least, we need a stool. Just there. And it probably is worth us having a spare stretcher just to make sure that we have enough capacity. We're going to get in some bins. Uh, we'll get some scrubs in here as well just in case you might have an accident and you might need some scrubs urgently auction tank that again that kind of makes sense to my simple brain as well okay lovely I like that I'm happy with that operating theatre so now we can really work on getting these other beds up to scratch because I think for a lot of them we didn't even have life monitors did we so let's get in some life monitors uh, lots and lots of capacity there now. Again, some privacy curtains because you'd want your bed to be in um, a private place. They're quite large bays actually, aren't they? I've done here. Let's go from there. So one, that, 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 that. We are going to have to do the walls again. So let's go for something different. Let's go for let's go for coloured tiles. Let's get some in here that's a little bit different. So there, 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 make sure it's all nice and colourful. Like that, lovely. It's probably worth us having a little area with radios and TVs. Just so people can come and chill out a little bit. Have a red chair, have a red chair please. And then we'll have a little coffee table. On that coffee table we can have a TV. TV. Like that. Maybe we'll have some chairs a bit more like that. Okay, I quite like that. I can get like a little auction tank. Then if we get in a wall just there. And get like a nice plant to sit there. And you can probably have some magazines for people to read if they're in here for a while. Then shall we try and get one more bay in here? A bit like that. Obviously we'll get rid of the window. And then we've got a little bit more room down here where we probably have to expand this I imagine at some point we might not have to actually but you know we'll have it in just in case right privacy screen is gonna go there then I think that's it I'm pretty happy with that let's just make sure all those walls are the same perfect okay I like that and then we have like a little wood you know like this bit here could be wood it's like a little lounge area. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I like that. Okay, so let's do a fairly similar thing for in our regular ward. So we're going to get our privacy screens. They are going to have to go kind of out in the corridor, which I don't really like. But I don't think there's much we can do about that for the moment. So let's get one more in. Then we can do something very similar that we just done in the high dependency unit and have some TVs and radios. So I thought we could use these kind of block things. They look quite cool. Maybe getting a sofa for something a little bit different. 
then we can get in what else should we get here get nice we need it definitely need a plant somewhere don't we, we need a plant classic hamper we'll get a coffee table maybe with some brochures on how to stay well and eat better all that kind of good stuff get some magazines there and again this can be like a dark wood just to have that difference between like the lounge area and the actual ward I don't like how these privacy screens are sitting can they go in I think it looks better if these go in a bit like that and, and we might actually need to get rid of the ones over there because I don't know if they're gonna oh no they should fix they're the same size actually aren't they so let's get one there and one there lovely I'm gonna change these I don't know why I deleted that I want like so get that in just inside like the cubicle wall which makes a lot more sense than than hanging it randomly out in the corridor okay perfect so I'm happy with that I think that's a lot nicer I am going to paint this outside wall as plain white again and then it might be worth us getting in a door here to go out you know to other departments and stuff because I assume this will have to venture out at some point now do we spend a little bit of money on the nurses stations and the doctor's offices i think we should so we get like a shelf maybe get in some um equipment cabinets here and then on them we can have oh, i'm getting a last plant where's the radio can i have a radio there we go radio We'll do the same in the doctor's office, but maybe we'll use these new fancy block things. Again, we've got a radio. Uh, what else can we get? We have some fire. Oh, fire doesn't look right. Um, maybe a lamp. I like that. Okay. So again, not going too crazy, but just putting a few things here and there just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now, our next objective is for us to open intensive care. That's going to be quite expensive because we're going to need, you know, quite a nice department. I'd quite like to have a separate surgery team here for oncology. So what doctors do we have? Like we can do it, a surgery, can't we? But it's going to be, it's going to be tight. So why don't we come over here? build a new nurse's station and doctor's office which will just be as a surgery team I just think it'll be something quite interesting to do so if we do that maybe have these oh we're gonna need some room for corridors as well aren't we you could come out there and have this as a corridor that might be better so if, how big is this Oh, I want to create walls, not destroy them. Nine. Okay. I don't know how big the on call room has to be. That could be four. That could be five. That that bit there, I think, has to be doctor's office. I think that will work, but we will just try it because it might not work. Then what I wanted to do is to go and nick some of these desks so we can get in one two three four getting some more if we get something in like that I think that will work really really nicely have that as wood and then what else do we need for this room we need oh yeah they're gonna need a equipment table aren't they so maybe we should get out a little one just now we'll get two of them and then it's pretty off gas going to stretcher of course we're going to want to get rid of those two windows again it's very very simple 
And that structure can't go there. Can it go there? Yeah, I think so. We'll get a radio for in here. And we'll get a nice plant. Getting a fire axe, a fire alarm, and a fire extinguisher. Perfect. And in here, we're just going to have people doing surgery. So if we can move you, Sarah Johnson, over to here. Can I assign a employee to workplace over here? Oh, you're a doctor. I'm clicking on the nurse's station. Okay, and then you're, yes, yeah, so you as well. John Williams, you're going to be out one of our surgeons. Perfect. Then over here, we're going to have, you do not assist at surgery. You do not assist at surgery. You guys, so you, Thomas King, can come over to the nurses. Thank you. And you guys are all set up. So you're also going to come over. You can go, oh, actually, you work better in the day. So let's, you can go there. Perfect. So we'll get a couple more nurses in. So let's get in. You're pretty good, Jane Taylor. And we're good to get one more just to do like the patient transfers. We're getting Lisa Adams and she's just going to do patient transfers. Okay, perfect. So over here, we need to build out our surgery teams. So for surgery, we need um, someone to assist. So if we get out some more people that have the surgery skill. We're going to need an anaesthetologist at night as well, aren't we? And then we're going to need two medical nurses. So let's get in James Wilson. And we're going to need one more. But you're depressed, Karen. I don't want anyone depressed. Um, oh, yeah, Jennifer Davis. Perfect. So that's, we've got loads of people that are perfect for the job at night. We need an anaesthetologist for the day. You're depressed, unfortunately. Um, we could get, I mean, you're an alcoholic, Barbara, which isn't great, but you should be okay. So we're going to say anaesthetology at surgery. We're going to need another surgeon. Oh, this is costing me so much money. Uh, I'm just going to get in Kate. Again, she's just going to do surgery, just do surgery. This lady over here is just going to assist at surgery. We need one more person just to assist at surgery. Let's get in Nancy Clark, someone cheap and cheerful, and again, just to assist at surgery. That means we have proper dedicated surgery doctors and nurses for oncology, which is absolutely perfect. So hopefully today we'll see some surgery cases. But who do we have? We've got Daniel King just here. So he's got some keratosis which is patched to the skin, redness, nodules on the skin. So he's got basal cell carcinoma. Oh, that's not great, is it? So he needs some Im imiquimod, which I assume is like an anti, an immune response modifier. Okay, well, I hope that treats you, Daniel. That's lovely jubbly. We've got anyone else in our ward? No one else in our high dependency unit and no one in our regular ward. So what's going downstairs? What's going on down here in um, Oncology Clinic? Got Richard Martin here. Not sure what he's got. I mean, it could be anything from a foot contusion to prostate cancer. So I think he's going to need to do pretty much all of the tests on Richard here. Kind of just exhaust everything because it could be literally anything at the moment. What's the handshake? He's cooperative. He speeds up procedures. Well, that's perfect. And we'll give some analgesics for his current symptom of pain. Who's this here? Charles Smith. Oh, are you coming in to use our loo, are you, Charles? Okay, not a problem. So again, we're not sure what's wrong with Charles. So let's again just do some tests on Charles. Have we got a to we've got a toilet up here actually, have we? That could be a good idea to get a toilet up here. Um, I'm just not sure where it will go. Can I change the uniforms for Doctor's Clinic, Doctor's On Call? 
So let's have you in like a green maybe, just something a little bit different. Okay, well that's our oncology department, really really nicely set up and awaiting any patients who come in who unfortunately are suspected to have a tumour. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here for today guys and what we're going to do is in the next episode we're going to really try and work on enabling hospitalisation and then we can get into our ambulances. So next episode we're going to work on the intensive care unit and we'll try and think about where we're going to fit it in. It's going to be upstairs here maybe or downstairs kind of next to emergency. So we'll work that out in the next episode and I really hope you take care of yourselves and um, keep well. So I'll see you in the next episode guys. Have an awesome day and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.